Hello, fifth graders. Nice to see you once again. You did such a nice job on those compass roses you designed. So, if you were a pirate and you were sailing using your compass, where would you sail to? Today, you're going to create a map of the imaginary island where you would be burying your treasure. So, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So, let's get started. For this project, you're going to need your sketchbook, your Sharpie marker, a planning pencil, your colored pencils, and if you have it, some smaller um, pens that would be used for detail. You can also, at the end, if you like, add a little color with paints. Paints I gave you, or watercolor paints, which I really love. Okay, to get started, we are going to need a little more room. In my imaginary pen, I actually used a large piece of paper. There's my island. Did you notice it's shaped like a C? And off that island is a J-shaped island and a B-shaped island. I had a hard time figuring out how to start and what shape my island should be, so I made my initials. And then I added detail the houses of the people I loved. Um, you can tell we're, what we're interested in. My son's an artist. My daughter loves books. My other daughter, Amy, loves sweets. We made her a sweet house. I love to bake in addition to doing art, so I made my house shaped like a loaf of bread. My husband is a builder, so he's got Michaelville. He also has made a beautiful little sailboat and he loves to garden. So we made him his own little garden island. So that's to give you an idea. Now, if you want to use your sketchbook, you can decide first, am I going to use one page or two? You might make it so big that it goes across two pages. What I'm going to do today is I am going to use this one on the side. It's called the landscape format. And I've lightly sketched in some shapes. I decided once again to go with my initials because it's what a perfect way to get started. I could outline this with Sharpie, but I am thinking it might be a little thick. It's actually okay for the outline. So I'm gonna do an outline. Now you notice I didn't make it nice and smooth because a coastline usually has some ins and outs and is a little bit rough around the edges sometimes. That's in a smooth area of beach. I'm gonna make it come like that. I planned mine in pencil first, and I'm gonna suggest you do that because if you plan it in pencil, you can make some changes as you go along. Once you do it with this marker, there's no changing it. Two, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three islands, just like I did before. C, J, B, only this is, this is a big J here. It comes up to a point, kind of like a cape over here. And this one, I'm gonna make more of a pirate island. I'm gonna go to a smaller pen because I wanna see the detail. So where am I gonna start? Well, I think I'll put a little lighthouse here. There's a lighthouse with a flag on top. That can be the harbor light. Over here might be one of the houses. And you can choose, are you gonna have houses in your imaginary island or not? Maybe it's just camps. There's a tall, thin house. And so I am going to have to know the directions. So I have to do a compass rose over here. I think I'll do this for my center. North, south, east, west, north, south east and west so maps if you notice always have 
the directions on them. You know, what else can you add? How about, let's make this Bailey Harbor. And you did a little ship drawing last week, I believe. So maybe you can add a ship in the harbor. And I hope you do a better job than I did. Oh, here we'll put another mast there. We'll make it a three-masted schooner. Okay. Add some things. So I'm going to take some time to add some detail. Probably in fast forward. And I'll see you back here later. So even though it doesn't look like it, because I put it on fast forward, I've taken my time to add detail, do um, some coloring in. A method I like a lot um, saves my hands, and it also, um, I love the way it looks, is rather than coloring in the whole thing in a solid color, I often use my pencil sort of on the side and shade the edges. The nice thing about using your pencil on the side like that is it actually keeps it sharp. So two things in one. Our teachers know all kinds of tricks to save work. So take your time. Um, I, I often spend like a week on this going back when I have free time, adding detail. I might even add a little more as I think of it. Sometimes it's good to walk away from your artwork and then come back to it and you'll have new ideas. So you could look at it and say, call it done, if you wanted. Um, one thing I wanted to point out to you all, I've used a skinny marker here. I found that the Sharpie was way too fat to do the detail. If you don't have a skinny marker, you could also just use a pencil, but press down when you know you like it so that you see the, um, the outline. So make sure your name is somewhere on here. And then if you want, you can say, I'm done. Or you could add a little bit of color for the water with, with paints. We can use either the paints I sent you, like this, or watercolor. I'm gonna try both and see which I like best. Okay, so when I'm using my paints, the first thing I wanna do is get the colors I might use wet. I'm gonna use white and blue, and maybe a little green or sea, sea blue. Up here, I've got a blue up here that I like. Okay, so I am going to let it sit a minute. Maybe I'll even put a little water right around the edges. Notice how the black isn't spreading? That's because I used a Sharpie. So I'm gonna get a little bit, put some paint on there, and then rather than just having a line, I'm gonna get my brush wet. Just use the water to blend it out. And I'm not gonna color all blue. You can if you want. I'm gonna do that method where I blend it out so it's just dark around the edges. I'm gonna try some of this. Ooh, I have to say I do like the watercolor. So I'm gonna switch to watercolor. I think it's just nice on this particular picture. Plus, it's that nice turquoisey color. Get some water, go around your edges. You get the idea. So have fun, take your time, add wonderful detail, and send me a picture of your work when you are done. I can't wait to see it.